This is video number four for chapter 10 in the Microsoft Excel 2013 comprehensive textbook and we're on page 659. Select the two command button controls. So let's click on this one and control click on this one. And we're going to set their properties. And so we want to go to the developer tab here. and go to properties. Uh, actually the way I usually do this is just right click and choose um, let's try that again. Maybe that doesn't work. Size and properties. Uh, that's a different one. Sorry about that. So let's go to properties here and uh, tap or click the back color property. So we want to go here and use the down arrow and uh, we want the palette tab and now we're on page 660 and we want column 6 row 5 that's kind of a dark color isn't it um, and then uh, go to the font and we get a three dots here and um, Hit the font dialog box, and uh, we want for font list. We want down to be S's here. C O U I, and we want ten for the size. We want uh, bold for the style, and. And we click on OK. And set the word wrap and shadow properties to true. Uh, so word wrap is true. So if something's too long, it'll wrap around another line. And where's our shadow property here? Let's click on that and set that equal to true. And we want to set the height to 50.25 so drag your mouse over that and let's do 50.25 and for width we want um, 140.25 and now we've got some wider buttons with a shadow behind them and now we want to close the red and white X up here and uh, now select the buttons, the command buttons individually and uh, set the we want the properties window, can I right click on that and get properties and uh, yes I can, there we go and um, so I want the options that are shown on page 661 and it looks like I must have hurried over one of the command buttons here but that won't be a big deal so this one we want the caption up here instead of saying command button one we want to say step one they capitalize the C so I will too okay this one down here yeah, I want its caption property to be step two. Okay, use buttons and boxes to select answers to questions. And apparently we need a third one here. So, and did I put a third one in? I did not. So. Uh, do a control C to copy that to clipboard, do a control V to paste it in and now uh, we've got another one that looks like it's down about uh, let's see um, and no I actually did do this correctly the first time when we deleted that uh, they just made this look like a button and um, so I want this to be the same width and let me see the width was 140.25 and the height was 50.25 so 
Let's go to properties here and um, set the width to 150, 140.25 and set the height to 50.25. Okay, and that's interesting. We put 0.25 in and as soon as we tab out, it changes it to 50.4 anyway. And uh, now, this should also have a shadow. This should have a uh, word wrap set to true. And um, the back color should be this one. And the font here should be Sego UI bold and I forget what we did for a font size. We did a font size of 10, so click on OK. And this one is the one that's supposed to, uh, let me see, can I right click on this and uh, go to properties. And I'm going to copy step two here, just drag the mouse over to do a control X. Then go here and for its um, caption, actually it's not caption for a text box, it's called text, do a control V and uh, okay, I got word wrap turned on and uh, it's not wrapping the words um, I'm not going to worry about that right now I'm going to go down here and change the caption on this one to say uh, step 3 Click the submit information. Okay, so let's go back here. And uh, word wrap is set to true. Let's set it to false and then let's set it to true again. And nothing happens. So uh, let's go and check the text property again. And I'm just going to try to wipe it out and type on top of it. And I think I just remembered what I got to do multi line up here in addition to wrap text and do true. And there we go. Okay. And now it, um, and set special effect to one on, I don't know if it's all of them or let's see what happens if we select all of these here. Click, control, click, control, click, and um, special effect. And I can't do that uh, when they're all selected like that. So let's just try this one and see if we have a special effect. And we do, and we want uh, number one to make it look like it's raised a little bit. And uh, apparently, that only works for the text box. And now we can close the properties window and uh, select the command button, the text box. And what we want to do is align right and distribute vertically. So click, control, click, control, click. And uh, go to format and do our align stuff again. We'll align them on the right. And we will distribute them vertically. And there we go. It should look pretty much like, actually, let's go a little bit, drag these up just a little bit there. And now it looks pretty close to what they have on page 661. Okay, and now we're on page 662. And um, we want to select the entire worksheet. And... Uh, do the blue accent three. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Blue. 
it's not blue, that's light blue. How about this one? That's probably dark purple. Blue. Blue gray. That's how about this one? It's just blue. Okay, blue XN3, lighter 80%. Okay, there we go. And then go to A1 up here, and we want fill color of dark purple, which I think is this one, and text to lighter 40%. How about lighter 60, lighter 40 and then blue accent too, so A3 to K10. So from A3 down to K10 is going to be blue accent two, darker 25%. So blue accent two, lighter, darker 25 and then um, we want B A3 to B7, A3 to B7 here, and we want um, E6 to E7, and we want G6, and we want A10 to K24, A10 to K24 to be blue accent 3 darker 25% so blue accent 3 darker 25% lighter 40 darker 25 okay. and we want I21 to K24 so I 21 down here to K24 here and we want blue gray accent one uh, how about this one blue gray yes accent one darker 25 percent right there necessary select the command buttons in the text box and use the arrow keys to move the controls as a group to center the bottom command button in the large or in the range I21 to K24 okay so this one's supposed to be centered a little bit um, and okay I guess they want to still want them all lined up so do a click and a control click and a control click and then we just got to kind of eyeball that and get in the center and then we could just click off and put someplace and we could uh, select cell M24 which would be this one right here and zoom to 80 percent to see the whole formatted and uh, with the resolution on my monitor I don't have to do a zoom I can still see everything right the way it is and we don't need this open over here I never did and okay that's been about 13 minutes so I think we're gonna stop this video here and we will continue with the fifth video starting on page 663